Hello, Facebook family. Happy Friday. Woohoo! We made it. Yay. Again, I still can't believe it is May, but so excited because it is May is mindful in May. It's our opportunity to renew our commitment to being mindful. Hello, Carolyn. Hello, Cammy. Well, now we have all sides of the country represented, so we can we can start the show, right? It's so great to see you both. Friends who have known me forever and a day one. Carlos Soto, great to see you. Thanks for joining. Happy Friday, everyone. So I'm dying to know, what are you guys all doing this weekend? Uh, this is my first weekend at home in a few week, weekends, so I'm looking forward to work. And people say, well, Holly, you're mindful. Like, seriously, shouldn't you be taking a weekend off? And um, I have a little rule on, on weekends where I have to work. It's four hours on four hours off so I guarantee you that I will probably get a beautiful hike in here living in Colorado and a little bit of time for fun too as you can see I'm dressed a little casual today for a fun Friday Rick Colster oh my gosh you're on my list to call uh, good to see you Brita thanks for joining on of course Carolyn's going to share tonight you win you win the mindfulness prize there uh, we're just talking about what are we doing on this happy Friday, fantastic weekend. Of course, Rick is having the big 6-0 party. You do not look a day over 4-0, Mr. Mister. Uh, so glad that you all could join us uh, this beautiful Friday, Friday morning when spring is popping up all over. I was going to record my feed outside today. And of course, the lawnmowers are mowing. You know, when you work from from a, a remote office, you always always seem to get that when you want to go outside. Hello, Daryl. Welcome to the party. Happy Happy Spring. Happy Friday. Happy May third. I know a lot of you guys um, know me fairly well. They've known me over the years. So three, body, mind, spirit. What a great way to celebrate our our healthy bodies our beautiful growing minds and our energetic spirit out in the world um, by coming together. Hello Juan Carlos, so you're going hiking, ready for Cinco de Mayo. Oh, yeah, well I might have to give some thought to that. Is that Monday? Sunday, Monday? It's a good plan, I, you know, gotta have some guacamole going on here. So it is Friday, May 3rd and we are talking mindfulness on my Mindful in May program. Um, some of you maybe haven't heard I'm in the process of transitioning off my my personal friend page to my public profile page. So I want to invite you, if you if you love hearing these daily messages, to help join me over there on my, my public profile page. It's Holly Duckworth Leadership. I'll put the link here in this conversation and join the Facebook group because starting next week, I'm going to be moving all of these personal conversations over there. Hello, Edward. Welcome. Thanks for joining in on the fun. So uh, today for Mindfulness in May, I want to invite you again to center back into your intention for this day and maybe for this practice. If you're going to join me for all 31 days in May, what is your intention you're going to put your focus on in May? So many beautiful things are coming up in nature. What's that beautiful thing that you're going to build in your life? So I told you yesterday our theme for today is new Thoughts are welcome here. And our inspirational quote is, you never change things by fighting the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes an existing model obsolete. And that's by R. Buckminster Fuller. Um, what some people don't know about this book is each and every quote I collected and designed and all of the stories I gathered, um, I would ask each quote, what made you want to be on? And it's so fun to see the right quote land at the right time. So today on May 3rd, um, this is your opportunity to really think about what is that new reality that you want to create for your life? And we're seeing so many things around the world fall away. Political systems, political leaders. For some of my coaching clients, it's careers are falling away. Um, others, you know, this is that time of year for graduation where kids are, are launching out into the world. So what's launching? What is ready to be a new thought in your life this mindful in May? So the story today is, it is what it is. That is the good news for those of us who like to see change. It is what it is. We can't be children forever. Seeds must grow into flowers. Cocoons become butterflies. And the sun each day gives way to the night. So where are you in resistance in your world? What is it that you must let go of to surrender to a new beginning? New thoughts are welcome here. So pause, breathe, 
and allow those new thoughts to come forward as the truth of your life. Well, it's so great to have all of my friends from around the world, coast to coast, joining on these short Facebook Lives. I'm so grateful to see you all. I hope that you have a fantastic Friday, and that most importantly, you remember, mindfulness matters. Your presence is the greatest present you can give the world today, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing. So take a moment, center in your intention. What's your energy for today? And allow a new thought to be welcome here. So I hope you'll join me on my, my public profile page, that you'll join the Facebook Live group, share this with your friends, and remember, mindful matters. So do you. I can't wait to see you all soon. I'm going to be here in my Denver office for a couple weeks, so feel free to drop me an email with your questions because that Facebook group, all the great answers to your questions, new stories, and new content is all going to be found over there on that page. Have a fantastic May 3rd, a great Cinco de Mayo. Join me for the, our Cinco de Mayo message um, in just a few days, and I look forward to having a great weekend with you. Take good care.